election campaign today with stops in several neighborhoods across the city. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley has more on her pitch to voters. I need your help. I need your help. I need you by my side as we run this race one more time. The election is eight months away, so it's likely the message will evolve. But for now, Mayor Lightfoot's campaign pitch is stay the course. I'm running again because the work on behalf of the people isn't done. Lightfoot's day-long campaign blitz took her to Ashburn, Greater Grand Crossing, Little Village, Garfield Park, and North Austin. The thing that we're going to be doing as a part of this campaign is reminding people about what we've done and how we've delivered for them, even through a pandemic. Joining Lightfoot at each stop, close city council allies. This have not been an easy job. I want to thank the mayor for thinking about what people are worried about. On the stump, Lightfoot is highlighting her help for struggling businesses and her signature Invest Southwest initiative. We have invested literally already in three years' time hundreds of millions of dollars to rebuild this west side. Polls show violent crime remains voters' top concern. The mayor says she gets it, but she's not changing her strategy or dumping police superintendent David Brown, as some have suggested. Instead, Lightfoot is ratcheting up her criticism of the criminal justice system. People want to be safe. They want to make sure that the criminal justice system is working for them. Some Lightfoot supporters, like Jaime De Paolo, agree. We can throw the blame on each other and everything else, but I think it's not the mayor. I think it's the, ju the judicial system is not throwing the book at those criminals, and, and it's not the mayor's fault. So far, five candidates have stepped up to challenge Lightfoot. Willie Wilson, Raymond Lopez, Cam Buckner, Paul Vallis, and Roderick Sawyer. Five announced challengers, but there will likely be more. Next February is a long way away. Reporting in Garfield Park, Timon Bradley, WGN News. Illinois is now the first and only state to ban the